Today, Alexis is taking the minutes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Setting the Record Queer, a podcast where queer people talk about the pursuits and communities they love. This is Taking the Minutes, a special episode series supported by our Patreon supporters. Number nine, my name is Alexis, my pronouns are it, it's, and she, her, and I'm your host. So for those of you who didn't take a listen to the mini-sode that we put up last week, uh, as we've said on Twitter and stuff, Kaylee was really sick and we weren't able to record our episode with Endrift on time, So just for the sake of putting up something in the feed so that y'all wouldn't just forget about us by the time we got another episode out, Kaylee recorded a little mini-sode for all of you, and it wasn't just an apology for not getting an episode out. Uh, In fact, Kaylee did something that we'd talked about in the past, and I was assuming we'd do together, and then she did without me. Uh, That is Kaylee's question extravaganza, uh, just a rapid-fire session of Kaylee's Question of the Week-style questions, And today on Taking the Minutes number nine, uh, I am going to be giving my response to that episode. That is, I'm going to be answering each and every one of these Kaylee's Question of the Weeks uh, using my scientifically proven Kaylee's Question of the Week answering formula that I'm not going to share with you. You'll just have to figure that one out on your own. With that explanation, let's dive right into this. I wouldn't be doing this any justice if I actually spend any time on any of these answers, so... The first question was, what video game would have the best book adaptation from its terrible movie adaptation? Uh, The movie not necessarily having to be real. Uh, And my answer to this is the book adaptation of the movie adaptation of the video game Assassin's Creed, because maybe being able to read it at my own pace would allow me to actually understand the plot at all whatsoever, like I did not when I watched the movie. Number two, if you could travel to any period in time, which would you pick? with the caveat that that period in time can't actually exist. And now, I'm someone who would like to see herself make a difference in the world. So for this question, I would like to travel back in time to the Great Indecision War of 1749, because I feel like I could actually help put a stop to that war. All it would really take is, hey, don't fight this war. And the indecision would do the rest. The next question, uh, appropriate for Kaylee's condition at the time, If you had to invent a sickness which was non-lethal but had a one-week-long recovery, what would it be? Uh, And I am proposing an anti-cat allergy attack. That is, you have an allergy to not being around cats. Uh, The prescription for this is, of course, one week of petting cats. Number four, uh, you are tasked with creating one animal with the parts from 15 different other animals. The question is, what climate would this animal live in? And now, I've decided to go the extra mile here. I've actually constructed a uh, beautiful chimera using science, of course, and not just a random list of animals. Uh, So, the animal that I am proposing is elephant-sized. It has the tail of a beaver. It's furry like a wolverine. uh, Has the needles of a porcupine and the smell-based self-defense mechanisms of a skunk. It bathes in dust like a chinchilla, just because that's adorable, has the leg count of an octopus or a spider, and these legs are composed of a pair of front legs of a lizard, the set of four in the middle are the legs of a zebra, and this is this is to scale, of course. The, the lizard legs are, you know, normal lizard size, and the zebra legs are zebra size, and the back legs of a mole, again, to scale, has the eyes of a chameleon, the horns of a ram, the diet of a pig, a spotted coat like a jaguar, and the ears of an alpaca. And as for the climate that this animal would live in, this horrible, terrifying monstrosity, uh, I have calculated the mathematically farthest distance from Rochester, New York, uh, and I would like it to live there. So that's in the middle of Antarctica somewhere, so that it can be as far away from me as possible. Next, if you could cause any fantasy animal to exist, what would it be? I want to make centaurs real, so that we can finally settle the age-old debate of, if a centaur were to wear pants, how would it do so? And finally, you have to combine any two technologies. Uh, The result is something that you have to use for the rest of your life, whether or not it is useful. I propose combining two incredibly genius inventions, the portable gaming console and the water bottle. 
That way, you will have all of your needs met literally forever, and you will need nothing else in life. What is eating food? Don't know. With that, I think I've satisfactorily answered all of Kaylee's questions of the week from Kaylee's Question Extravaganza. Thank you so much for listening to this. If you have your own answers to any of these questions, please share them with us on our Twitter, at STRQueerCast, uh, in our email, settingtherecordqueer at gmail.com, or in our Setting the Record Queer community Discord at bit.ly slash STRQCord. As well, uh, these Taking the Minutes episodes are made possible by our support on Patreon. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can find that at patreon.com slash settingtherecordqueer. We always appreciate your support. It means absolutely the world to us. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter as at doublegearsys, as in double gear system. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, be sure to go listen to Kaylee's mini-sode if you didn't listen to this one. And look forward to our episode with Endrift a week after this comes out. Bye!